Much meaning. Thank you very much for, for covering for me in there. Well, I think it would have just upset her to know that you were paying her bills. Will you just let me know how she's doing? I'd be glad to. Thank you. Who was that? Would you lower the volume, please? All right. Who is that man? <laughs> His name is Pierce Riley. And he happens to be an old friend of my Aunt Phoebe. She knows, knows him for almost 20 years, and he's a very nice man. Oh. Oh, sorry. I, I, I'm probably overreacting. Oh, thank you. It's been a very hard day. I need some downtime. Look, do you think maybe you could spare me just a few hours this afternoon? I need to look into those beautiful eyes and bask in the glory of that smile and get your answer to my proposal. No, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait for all of that until this oh. evening, Adam. No, 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 my afternoon is booked. Oh, come mm -hmm. on, you can be scheduled. No, no, I can't. And don't even try to convince me to do that. <laughs> God forbid. Well, good. So we will talk about everything as planned this evening. And I'll see you then. Just hurt people and make even bigger messes out of things. Oh, excuse me. Did I just hear the word plot and Adam Chandler in the same sentence? Hmm? <sighs> Adam knows how I hate it when he schemes. <laughs> people just get hurt. The wrong people. <laughs> My only crime is blowing off steam in public, being a father concerned about his child. Well, nobody could fault you for that. Not even you? Especially not me. You look beautiful tonight. Our table's ready. Would you have, go and have them serve the wine? I'll be there in just a moment. Okey do. You lied to her. I did not lie to her. Keep your voice down. I just left out a few facts, that's all. Stuart, this is a very delicate situation. I'll fill Brooke in on the details later. Right now, I want you to go home. Start calling Haley. Make sure she's okay. What do I say if she answers? Just chat with her. Do small talk. Just tell her you've been thinking about her. With a little luck, her mother and her husband have devoured each other by now. I'm scared, Adam. No, it's going to be okay. Sooner or later, Alec and Arlene are going to get what they deserve. I, I just have a bad feeling about this. A very bad feeling. Okay, Adam, what gives? It's been 15 minutes now, and you haven't even tried to impress me with your choice of wine. What's well, good, isn't it? It's wonderful. And if you would like to talk... I would love to listen. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Business, uh, gone, gone, gone. You now have my full and undivided attention. You know, patience is not usually one of your attributes. You do forget that we're here tonight so that I can give you an answer to your marriage proposal? Of course I haven't forgotten. I just don't want to pressure you. You live to pressure me. What about all those little gifts that you sent from all around the world? Love tokens. Little subtle, subtle reminders that you're waiting for an answer? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Brooke, what is it? Will you marry me? Not if she's half as smart as I think she is. No. <laughs> Montgomery, this is a private conversation. I want you to leave Gloria. <laughs> fine, fine. Now get out. What? Well... What's going on here? It's nothing. Nothing. I'll explain it. Oh, you will. I'd love to hear this explanation. Why don't you explain why you're telling everybody that Alec and Gloria are having an affair? You're what? <laughs> he doesn't know what he's talking about. But Gloria has had a hard enough time trying to put her life back together without you trying to destroy it all over. That is absurd. I'm not trying to... St Just leave Gloria alone. Or you'll answer me. Left 
out a few facts. And Stuart wanted to help. What's wrong with a man wanting the best for his own child? Nothing. Nothing. If the child is six years old, Haley is all grown up. So she has the right to fail, and she has the right to live her own life. She can live her own life all she wants, after she dumps Alice. Boy, you know you haven't changed one thing. The man is a sleaze, you know that. Well, people say that about you, and you know that? Well, whatever I do, I do because I love Haley. That noble excuse does not wash anymore. Would you, do, would you just stop right there? I am here tonight because I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I'm really sorry that this, this unfortunate thing came up about Gloria. I'm just, but uh, can you please answer my question? Will you marry me? She has gone through so much, and this kind of a rumor, you know what kind of damage I, I can do to her? I didn't spread it all over town. It I... doesn't matter, all right? She's an innocent bystander. All right, I apologize. I'll make it up to her. You know, you, you'll just... You'll never get it, and I don't know why. I waste my time. Could, could we just get back to the reason we're here tonight? I had a very good feeling about what was going to happen. Don't leave me hanging, Book. Will you marry me? I'll never know. No amount of righteous indignation is going to conceal the fact that you love me, and even though I stepped over the line, nothing can change the fact that I love you. We love each other. We belong together. Right now, you don't want to hear what I have to say to you. Trust me. 